What's going on guys? Today is going to be a, uh, another tutorial for beginner's tutorial for Photoshop uh, CS5. Today we're going to be talking mainly about the clone stamp tool. Let's just jump right into it. So first of all I'm going to open a picture that I have saved on my desktop. Alright, now we have this uh, nice scene, scene right here with the houses over the pretty blue water and the uh, rocks over here. So first of all I'm going to unlock the layer so we can work with it a little bit more, and then I'm going to duplicate the layer. Alright, now we're going to turn this layer, just leave that how it is. Alright, so now I'm just going to zoom in about 100%. Alright, so let's say we really don't want these rocks in here. We're going to go over here and grab the clone stamp tool. It looks just like this little stamp right here. Click it. And what you're going to do, first of all, hold Alt, and then right click, and move it left and right and make your brush as big or as small as you want it first of all we're gonna say right about there is good next you're gonna alt and left click to take a sample now what this is is it's taking a sample from wherever you click and then you're, you're gonna be able to paint over here what has been sampled from over here so let's say we want a sample from right about here we're gonna hold alt and click left click then we're gonna bring our brush over here and hold down left click and just start painting over what we want to be changed take another sample alright so we're gonna try and get rid of these rocks right here now so we're gonna take a sample from about right here oh that's a little different Let's take it from over here that looks a lot better alright so we're just taking samples from different places. Can't always have the same place. Alright, getting rid of these rocks. Touch this up maybe so it looks a little bit better. Alright, taking just keep taking different samples from wherever you want so that it blends a little bit better sample from right here paint this over sample from here paint some into here make it blend a little bit more Alright, so that looks a fair amount better than what we had before. So, let's take a look at what we had before. And this is our after. Almost no trace that there was any rocks there. Now over in here, if you zoom, a, zoom in a little bit, you can tell that this is kind of right along in here. It doesn't blend very well, but that can always be fixed with a little bit more time. Uh, taking some more time on the picture. But uh, that's just a quick idea of what the uh, clone stamp can do, clone stamp tool. <coughs> um, there's our before, and there's our after. So uh, that looks pretty good. Now remember the clone stamp tool, Alt, and right, hold right click to move left and right to size your brush up. Then Alt and right click to, or uh, Alt and left click to uh, take your sample and start painting wherever you want. So, uh, that's just my, uh, me talking about the clone stamp tool a little bit. If you have any questions, just, uh, leave a comment or message me. Um, thanks for watching. I hope these helped you. I'll be coming to you with some more tutorials, Photoshop CS5. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and, uh, I'll see you later. Thanks.